Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we'll be designing this crew. Yeah. We're designing this crew. So you guys get ready. Okay, first is to go to parts. Print select parts. Yeah, not assembly, but then start work. Okay, the first thing to do is first select the front plane and make it normal. Too. Then go to your sketch and then select what the center line. So let's draw a center line. So draw center line from here to here. Make sure it passes through the center on the origin. Then you escape. So we have our center lines here. So go to the top plane, make it normal too. But before that, we are going to do the other sketch on a different hot. We are going to make it a different sketch. So exit sketch one. And then select the top plane and make it normal too. So this one is already normal too, so there's no need to select. So you guys can redo it if you think you can read it now onto the stage. Then we are going to draw a circle. So you draw your circle. Okay, let me select the thing so let's draw my circle okay according to the strategy we are supposed to dimension the diameter to be 0 0.19 so 0 0.19 inch that's the dimension coming so 0 0.19 one nine inch okay and you have something like this. Then we'll extrude, we'll extrude the circle by one hot, one inch. So you go to extrude both and base. Then you extrude the circle by one inch. Okay. Then type your value inside one inch. Then you click on OK. Yeah, so you should have this. This here. Now let's let's click on this and make it normal too. So I click on or click on the front the click on now the front plane. Now select the front plane and make it what normal too. So make the front plane normal too. So you should have some time like this. Front plane is not normal too. So you are going to see a screw has come let me go back to my first one. So you are going to now draw this side. Okay, this side. Then after that we'll draw a pointed edge here. They will draw the whole inside, okay. So now let's go and draw this head over here. So, how do you draw that head? So, after you've arrived at this, select the front plane and make it normal. So, note that the front plane is the one having what the center line, okay. The front plane is the one having the center line. So, select it and make it normal too. And then we are going to draw on it. So, you select your line too. You select your line too. Come, let me, let me go and select my front plane. And let me draw. So I want to draw from this midpoint here to some points along this vertical to this. Then extend it to this point here. And then let me close it. Gently like this. Okay. So let's then let's dimension. So the dimension between this line and this line, the angle between these two lines, is supposed to be what 41. So let's make that. And then also the, the dimension for this one. So they give the diameter. So if you have the diameter, you get 1.825. So that's what you'll be using for the radius. So 1.825. So you dimension this to be 1.825. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1825. Okay. Then click on OK. And then you should have this fully defined okay now we are going to revolve so you see that this is drawn right we are going to revolve this around what the center line okay so go to what revolve boss and base revolve boss and base and then when the axis of rotation should be what your center line here that should be your axis of rotation and then it should be blind and hot 360 degrees then you click on okay so you should have the head here nice little so you should have your head now we are going to do we are going to now cut 
I'm going to now make this shape pointed. Okay, so now select your select your front plane and make it normal too. And make it normal too. Go to the sketch tool, select your line, and then let's draw something. So let's draw something. Select from here, from there to the point on this line. Yeah, and then draw something nicely like this. So yeah, then close it. Okay, now let's 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 dimension it. The dimension between my mouse is full. The dimension between this and this is supposed to be what 30 hot degrees. So 30 degrees. And then the dimension of this line, the small line here, is what 0 0.025. So 0 0.025. So you should have you should have this. Now we are going to what revolve cut this. Revolve cut this feature that we've drawn around 360 to get what the pointed edge. So go to revolve cut. Revolve cut is here. So go to revolve cut. Make sure it is blind. Make sure it is blind. And then it's 360. And the axis of revolution should be what? Your what your center line. Okay. Your center line. Then you what? Click on OK. Okay, then you should have you should have this. Now we have this. Now we are going to what? We are going to select the top surface here, make it normal too. That's why we are going to cut what? The hole. So you select the top surface, make it normal too. And then go to your sketch. So let's select what? Select a center what? A center rectangle. So select your center rectangle. Just select center rectangle and then you draw. Come, okay, I selected it. Select the center rectangle, then let's draw. Okay, so let's dimension the center rectangle. The dimension here is supposed to be 0 0.055. So this is supposed to be 0 0.055. Click on okay, make sure have this. And then the dimension from this point to what to the tangent of this is supposed to be what 0 0.55 but we know the dimension from this point to this point which is supposed to be the radius of this that's 0 0.1825 plus 0 0.1825 which will be equal to what 0 0.365 right so we'll be adding this to this to make the what the yeah so so we'll be adding this distance as this distance plus the radius here to give us the total length of this so that'll be twice as 0 0.05 they say we are giving this to be what 0 0.05 so 2 times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.3 uh, 365 so that should give you something like 0 0.75 so this should be 0 0.75 so we dimension this to be 0 0.375 0 0.375 so we have this. Now we are going to extrude cut this by what 0 0.04 inch. So you go to your extrude cut, which is here. Then you extrude cut by 0 0.04 inch. So type your 0 0.04 inch there. You should be blind. Then we are good to go. 0 0.04 inch. So you should have this. So you can hide the center line now. Since we are done drawing, we can hide our center line. Then, yeah, so we have this what, screw nicely drawn. Then you save it as screw. And we'll be using it when we are assembling the other parts. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.